different. It's against a grappler. Yeah. Right? Sure. And, and playing a zoning game without a fireball as a, as a guy, especially, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for him to get the control that he needs. Okay. Got that punish on that with SPD. Oh. Interesting. Uh, when is that as punishable, even on hit? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of curious myself right now. Guys, please tweet us out if you know that. Please. I do want to know that. But back to this neutral game. Airwolf has a life lead. <gasps> oh, okay. Cool. One more SPD can do it. And he no, he tried. But perfect punish there from G Dragon. We'll get back a lot of life and have the corner now. Too gutsy, perhaps? What do you think? Is it too gutsy to go for that kill right there? I mean, it, it, so smart from G. No, it was just it was the safe play, and that's what we've seen him doing all night. And I'm glad he did it. Didn't challenge on wake up. Let him burn all his meter. Now, Wolf has no meter going to the next round. Yeah, they're really good positioning right now for G-Dragon. Tons of meter, but he's still eating these uh, with green hands to SPD. And that's, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, and I wouldn't expect G-Dragon to be able to react to that better, just knowing oh, the yeah. there he is. Okay. Bit of a challenge right there for G-Dragon. Here, this is the big play right now. Good damage. Good control. Great punish. Wow. This is a, almost a similar situation from the first round. And this time, <laughs> Graham steals it. Just just do it. Just to file around. He's just laughs it off. He's like, he's like else laughing and smiling. He's like, he's going to do it. Ah, oh, put the arms out. <laughs> oh, okay. no. This is bad. Cross up or not. Here's the tech. Ooh. I like the attempt right there. SPD a little bit too early. Yeah, didn't eat too much damage, though, luckily. <laughs> yeah. Well, mashing out a little bit. Yeah, G-Dragon is paying too much with his health, but he's got to do something. Ah, uh, just trading with the Lairitz, losing the Lairitz, just hurting G-Dragon so much, sadly. Oh my god, that was sick. He caught the, uh... No. Okay. Yeah, that work. yeah he caught the, uh, the EX shoulder with crouching jab. I don't think that was a reaction. I just think he happened to do it at the right time, but he did buffer it. He just took out space. He's like, take out space? Cool. Yeah. It, it, it was just a check, and it worked out really well for Graham. Great game one from Graham Wolf. And G-Dragon sitting there, taking some time to think a little bit. He, he might move over to Ken, although I'm not sure if I'm fond of that choice. Uh, I don't know if I'm fond of it either, but if it's where he feels more confident, Ken is definitely not a bad choice in this match. No, it's absolutely not. So I, I, I commend him for at least for at least trying this, because he's clearly not doing well at all. He wasn't doing him. bad with Gaio. I like, he he made an adjustment. But he, he did make an adjustment, but he didn't get the kind of control and dominance, right? Um, I'm not gonna say he, he got outplayed, but he definitely couldn't um, switch the pace into his favor at all during that game. Very true. Very, very true. All right, let's see how he chooses to approach the matchup. Already exerting the fact that, hey, I have a fireball. But, wow, this is a grand wolf for that light green hand. Definitely not easy to do. Oh, yeah, that's really difficult. The timing's got to be on point. And if you do it too close, then they can still punish you. So you have to back up to the perfect range to get that. It looks like this is working out really well for G-Dragon now. Uh, extremely well, to say the least. Playing very safe. Option to go for just one jab, not overextending. I like this gameplay from G-Dragon a lot, and this is working out really it's, well it's for exactly it. how we saw the guy play, except the fact he's not having to go as close to Zangief as he did with Guy. Man, what a great first round right there for G-Dragon. Just control. Yeah, control. That, that, that's it. It's just a ton of control. Now, we still haven't seen Graham just find a way to get knocked down. And once that does happen, uh, be very interested to see what does happen. But yeah. G-Dragon does have a free oh. Up oh, wow. That reversal. Oh. we right back. That gets out of the Yomi. And that's All such right. a safe option. That's probably the best option. Yeah, just... Get back out. We win a neutral game. Just keep playing the game. You're winning. Nice uppercut again. <gasps> Huge chance here for Graham. But oh no, just get thrown back to the corner. Lost all this green space. Everything he needed to come back this round. He was able to make something out of that scramble, and it put him in a fantastic position. And there it is. This should be, I think, the round. Now, I wonder if Graham Wolf is going to go back to character change, not to change characters, to pick up Ultra 2, just for the increased Yomi option. I think Ultra 2 would be a better option, in my opinion. It, it's taking, it helps, it doesn't eliminate the DP, but it helps reduce the amount of uppercuts, and that helps build, uh, it changes the metagame for this particular matchup. And Graham likes playing that very mental Yomi-based mind game. And 
I think I think that's yeah. what he should do. Oh, he's gonna go for Vega. Now we we've seen some you know some cute stuff from from Graham earlier yeah, we have, with we Vega. Have. Uh, I, I I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer, kind of what I did to Jeff earlier when he picked Ken and clearly <laughs> had success. But this what I do. I still have doubts. I do too. I mean. He's trying to play Vega without a car throw. And he's admitted to this. He says, like, yeah, shoot the car throw, though. But oh my god, doesn't that. Hey, that was fundamentals there. That it wasn't was. fundamentals. <laughs> it was fundamentals. <laughs> the level 3 focus? Yeah. That's uh, questionable, but maybe Graham has a plan up his sleeve. Rory knows he's something unfamiliar there. Trying to hit that EX Barcelona when uh, Ken is crouching in too far away. Nice sweep right there. You know what this Vega pick did? It's allowing him to challenge more Lucio game, which is why he's losing with Zingy. He just couldn't find a way to challenge Lucio yeah. game. And Vega is giving him that option. If there's anything that Graham really does have, though, he does have a, a very high-level neutral game, right? And it's worked out really well for this matchup, because he wasn't worried about the pressure that g was having Ken. He was worried about the neutral game. Yep, and, and as much as Graham cannot um, do car grabs, he is very good at defending against car grabs. That's the plus. But when you get deal with mixes like that, it's like good luck, man. All right, let's see how much the G-Dragon can get. Oh my god. Oh. That's just a confusing situation. He was not ready for that. Yeah, small drop that, but... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that bait! That was so smart. <laughs> that bait was next level. So smart. <laughs> uh, no, he needs to stop using that move. So punishable. Good job from G-Dragon. Chasing it down. Has the pressure. What's the mix-up? Detect. Still a really close round for both players right now. There's the throw. He has full meter. He can go for an uppercut if he wants to. He can go for really anything, but he's got to oh, okay. do something. Good defense. This needs a not that though. Needs one more hit still though because he took a throw. That's punish. Okay. Wow. Easy punish. Wolf, we might have punched the bigot pick, but yeah. it worked. Uh, I really wish G Dragon didn't jump the gun there and went for that uppercut.